Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about speeding up your computer by changing some uh, hardware that you could easily find online and you can do it yourself as well at home. So let's get started. Number one thing you want to do is replace your hard drive HDD I've written here. It's also called HDD with an SSD solid state drive. The uh, least amount of solid state drive you want to use is 256, not 128. 128 is uh, slow, so change your SSD and uh, use a 256 or 250 gig SSD. You might ask which type of SSD you should install. Well, uh, there are uh, various type of SSDs depending upon your computer or your laptop. In computers, it's pretty easy to uh, replace uh, your hard drive with an SSD is just you if your uh, computer your motherboard is modern enough you could just use M.2 SSD and uh, keep that hard drive as your secondary drive use the SSD as a primary drive and use your hard drive as a secondary drive in laptops you have some other options so I'm going to go through them. Uh, number one is uh, you might want to see if your laptop has a mini SSD uh, slot. If so, it is great. Then you don't need to swap out your hard drive and just uh, plug in that uh, mini SSD in your mini SSD slot and use that as a primary drive. But make sure to use at least 256 or 250, whatever it is, uh, and use it as a primary drive and use the hard drive as a secondary drive if you don't have a, a mini ssd if your computer is modern enough then maybe use m.2 slot for your ssd the primary drive is uh, your m.2 ssd and the secondary uh, drive is your uh, hard drive if you don't have either of these options on your laptop then you might have a, a CD room or DVD room, uh, whatever it, it is in your laptop, then you could use that. You could replace the uh, primary hard drive with a primary SSD, like in the primary slot, plug in an SSD. And uh, what you want to do with the drive is there is a, a thing called Caddy. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but you could search online and find a Caddy for your hard drive and plug in that hard drive into the caddy and secure it with the screws and plug it into your CD-ROM and you will have uh, your hard drive uh, instead of the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM is useless anyway nowadays. Uh, people use flash drives and other means uh, so that's why it is uh, pretty handy and if you don't want to do that then you could also use a hard drive enclosure Plug in their hard drive into the enclosure and then use it as an external uh, storage. I just want to tell you it's pretty obvious but still just for the sake of this video uh, is to install a fresh copy of Windows. So your primary SSD either it could be uh, if your computer or your laptop is uh, a little bit modern this is uh, this uh, this tutorial is for um, mainly old computers but you could also do it on your uh, new computer as well if you don't have an SSD so what you want to do is uh, if your uh, if your board has uh, an M.2 slot then just install that uh, your SSD uh, NVMe uh, M.2 SSD in that slot and use your hard drive as in secondary storage and then you could uh, just to have a smooth computer experience. Next thing you want to do is max out your RAM. Well, a RAM uh, plays a pretty important role in, in speeding up your computer. So your, uh, your computer RAM might be uh, 4 gig or 8 gig. But uh, nowadays uh, the demands are increasing day by day. So you just uh, want to max it out to 16 gig or 32 gig. RAM plays an important role in increasing your computer speed. So what you want to do is increase your uh, RAM from uh, whatever your basic RAM is, either it's 4 gig or 8 gig. You want to max it out to 16 gig. Uh, if your processor, uh, depending upon your processor and your computer hardware, you might want to check your computer spec sheet or data sheet. 
So if it supports uh, a 16 gig maximum, then use 16 gig. Not more than that, it might end up messing up with your computer. It is not recommended at all. I've did once and it uh, kind of ruined my computer. I don't know why, but I'll just recommend not using uh, more than your computer can take it. So uh, use either 16 gig or 32 gig, but before investigate if your computer can take 16 gig or 32 gig uh, of RAM. Why the RAM is very important. The program is stored in primary drive, whatever it is, it's a hard drive or an SSD. They're not fast enough, so they change it to the uh, faster storage, which is the RAM. RAM basically it does is uh, load it up in uh, itself and then uh, it could uh, communicate with the processor faster and then you could have a faster experience. It is recommended to use more RAM. Also don't forget to check the label, uh, the label of the RAM installed in your computer. Uh, whether, whatever the label is, DDR2, DDR3, DDR3L, or DDR4, and also the frequency of the RAM because compatibility of the RAM is very important. So you do check that before installing your RAM. Last but not the least, this is optional, but since you're upgrading your computer already with the SSD and RAM, so you also might want to uh, upgrade your Wi-Fi card. Your computer, your laptop or computer might have an older Wi-Fi card. Uh, Wi-Fi cards are easily available on the market and you could uh, just easily get them and install them on your computer or laptop and just uh, install their drivers if necessary and enjoy faster internet. I hope you learned something and enjoyed my take on that. Uh, if so, then like, share and subscribe and click on the notification bell and I will guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.